Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. Now we all know that investing in dividend stocks is an excellent way to generate passive income. That being said, two excellent dividend stocks to generate passive income right now are Verizon stock and Altria Group stock, each of which are offering robust dividend yields. But which one is the better dividend stock to buy for 2024? Well, that's precisely the question I'm gonna answer in this video comparing the two companies on vital financial metrics, including valuation. So let's jump right in and let's figure out which one is the better dividend stock to buy for 2024. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So the first financial metric I'm going to compare these two excellent dividend stocks on is revenue. And there's one thing I want to highlight with revenue. Now you'll notice that Verizon is massively larger than Altria Group. Verizon generated $134 billion in revenue in the trailing 12 months, while Altria Group generated $20.56 billion. The one thing I wanted to highlight with each of these two stocks is to not expect growth in revenue from either Verizon or Altria Group. Verizon, I suspect, will do better in terms of revenue growth over the next decade. The industry that Verizon operates in is not a declining industry. It's, it's a mature industry that's not expected to add very many customers, but it's also not an industry that's expected to decline. People are not systematically canceling their wireless plans. That cannot be said for Altria Group, where people are systematically smoking less cigarettes, right? Whether by choice or by government regulation. And so the tobacco industry is expected to decline over the next several years and over the next several decades. The good news is that Altria is investing in the transition to non-combustible products like vaping. And so it remains to be seen if it can make a smooth transition or if it'll experience revenue declines over the next several decades. Now, over the next two years, Altria Group revenue is expected to grow by 1%, a whopping 1%. But the good news is that revenue is not expected to decrease, even though the tobacco industry is going through this big transition where people are smoking less cigarettes. The next thing I want to highlight is the dividend yield. Altria Group offering a 9.53% dividend yield versus Verizon that's offering a 7% dividend yield. These are both very solid dividend yields. If we were to compare this with a traditional 10-year government bond, the 10-year government bond offers around 3.95% yield. And so you're getting a double uh, nearly double that or more than double that with Altria Group and almost double that with Verizon. Also, with dividend stocks compared to government bonds, you get to participate in the upside. If the stock price increases, you get to benefit from that increase. But there's also a risk. If the stock price decreases, you have to suffer those losses as well. So depending on your taste, and if you're watching this video, it seems like you prefer dividend stocks you get the benefit of the upside as well as the dividend yield. The next thing I wanted to compare these two on is the operating profit margin. And this is where Altria Group distinguishes itself against Verizon and distinguishes itself against many other businesses for that matter. Altria Group's operating profit margin of 56.06% is in the big leagues. There's only maybe five to ten companies that can match or beat this kind of operating profit margin in the world if there's more than that then those are companies that i'm not aware of and i cover a wide range of companies the highest operating profit margin of any of the companies that i follow i've said this many times that is visa at 66 percent so altria group is right up there there is no other company that i follow that is above 60% operating profit margin. Visa is in a league of its own. And of course, Visa is one of the top stocks I've recommended as a buy for a long time. And that's one of the reasons. So Altria Group is up there among the leaderboards. Verizon 
still solid with an operating profit margin of 22%. It's just that Altria Group makes Verizon look minuscule with its profitability. An operating profit margin of 22% is something that many businesses would envy. 22% is a solid operating profit margin. It's just that compared to Altria Group, Verizon's operating profit margin looks skinny, but it's not. Verizon is a solid operating profit margin, but Altria, huge advantage in this metric. The next thing I wanted to compare these two on is their leverage or long-term debt. And Verizon has massive $147 billion debt balance compared to just $4.2 billion in cash. So Verizon is heavily levered with a massive debt load. Altria is also heavily levered with $1.5 billion in cash and $25 billion in long-term debt. So each of these two companies are leveraged to the tilt. They're maxed out essentially with their debt to equity ratio. And this is a risk for both of these companies, but I would say it's a bigger risk for Verizon just because of the sheer size of the balance. It's so massive that it would be a big risk should there be any big disruption in the business that that would be a problem. Thankfully, right now, Verizon experiences more than 99% of its customers just automatically make the payments and stick around. It's something that people don't typically cancel their your cell phone plan. And it's something that people don't typically switch, right? Think about how long it would take you to switch your cell phone plan to another provider. There would be conversations on the phone there. You have to maybe order a new phone or wait for a new SIM card. You have to make agree to a new contract, perhaps. Uh, what phone are you going to use? Can you use your same phone with a different provider? There's all these things to consider when switching from one provider to another. And those things are even magnified if you're on a family plan like myself to switch over your entire family to a new provider. It takes a lot of time and you're not going to do that for a $5 per month savings or maybe even a $10 per month savings because it's going to take you so much time to make that switch. And so Verizon experiences, that's one reason why Verizon over 99% customer retention. That allows it to finance this long-term debt because it generates strong cash flow in order in uh, in excess of what it needs to pay this uh, debt payment and to pay a dividend. Finally, I wanted to compare these two on the price to earnings ratio. The price to earnings ratio is an important financial metric I use to determine which stock is more expensive or if a stock is too expensive. Let me show you this example here. I have two stocks, one trading at a market price of $100 and one trading at a market price of $12. The one trading at a market price of $100 has an earnings per share of $2.58, while the other has an earnings per share of just $0.11. Cents. When we look at their price to earnings ratio, the one trading at a market price of $100 is trading at a price to earnings of $38.76, while the one trading at a market price of $12 is trading at a price to earnings of $114. So in this example, the one trading at a market price of 12 is actually more expensive because I'm tr I'm paying 114 times earnings to purchase this stock. That means if the company was to pay me earnings per share every year as a dividend, it would take 114 years for me to receive my money back. Whereas the other stock, it would pay me back in 38.76 years. Now there's a lot more to think about in this equation, but to simplify, that's an example that shows you why a company with a market price higher can actually be cheaper than a company with a market price that's lower. That being said, let's compare these two on price to earnings ratio. And what we see is they're very similarly valued. Verizon is trading at a forward price to earnings of 8.1 and Altria trading at a forward price to earnings of 7.9. So very, very close in valuation. So given that the valuation is essentially equal and given that Altria Group far outperforms Verizon in terms of operating profitability and given that they're both got, they're both over levered in terms of their balance sheet, 
They're both operating in an industry where revenue growth is going to be either in the low, low single digits or declining in the low single digits. All of that being considered, I would pick Altria Group as the better dividend stock to buy for 2024. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.